Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today, but it's going to be a tough one today. So, a lot to talk about because we are in a silent depression right now. And people need to understand that. Uh, please hit the like button on the video. Please subscribe to my channel. And uh, today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold, and I will talk about them in a little bit. But, uh, Let's get right into it. First things first, guys. Everything that we're being told in the economy is a complete mess, okay? It's just, it's smoke and mirrors. Talked about that. Talked about these numbers that are completely inflated and then they get corrected. But let's just get real for a second because when you look at the Great Depression, which people don't want to look at, when you look at how incomes rose to a certain level, housing prices rose to a certain level, people could afford certain things, and then all of a sudden the rug was pulled out in front of us. We're experiencing the exact same thing as that right now, but today it's much worse. And what I mean by that is you've got incomes that are not keeping up with rent, incomes that are not keeping up with the ability to purchase the average house. You've got companies that are completely letting people go, laying them off, and resetting uh, their payrolls so that they can you know, hire people for less money. It's happening right before our eyes. But what happens to the people that lose their jobs during this time? Now, think about this. When you look at an industry, name one other than the negatives, okay? We've talked about that. Name an industry that's doing well right now. Cars? Really, you think so, okay? Um, you're talking real estate, okay. You know, one thing that's funny about the real estate industry right now is let's look at the biggest problem right now and that's with loan officers. You have had, you know, as of last year, you had well over 120,000 loan officers that lost their jobs. Now, a lot of these people were commissioned people that made a tremendous amount of money and they're not working right now. Well, where do they go? You know, one person said, oh, damn, maybe they're going to go to medical sales. Oh, okay. Okay. Because that's happening in the medical sales industry where these people were making all this big money. And what do they do? Cut them back and hire people for less money. So you're seeing loan officers that can't get jobs. You're seeing the fact that people cannot refinance houses right now and cannot make a living in that industry right now you know, read the stories below because I backed all this up with ammo. You have houses that are sitting on the market longer than ever right now. And this is, you know, it's just a fact right now. Now, you know, the real estate agents that write me, every time I do a video and I mention your precious real estate word, they all write me and tell me how wrong I am. Okay, great, great, good, good. You know, like, uh, Scott Walter said, I mentioned him yesterday and I'll mention him again today because he's a good friend. You know, how much houses do you own? You know, what's the, you know, loan to value on those things that you own? Are they overextended? You're trying to sell them? You're trying to get out of them? Okay. Think of this. Now, globally, this, ha this is happening around the world. It's not just here. But what you had happen in Australia is going to happen here you're going to see more and more contracting companies go out of business beyond the ones that have already gone out of business. You have thousands of contractors in Australia that went down for the count. That's gonna happen again here, right now. And it's slowly happening, where they can't get jobs, they cannot make money, the price of material is absolutely through the roof. But you're supposed to sit there, we're supposed to believe that everything is good right now. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. The average family spends, you know, $1,049 more a month living, living, just getting by, not going on vacation, not hanging out at the beach, getting by, okay, than they did four years ago, okay? That's just the way the world is. No, guys, it's going to get worse right now. And the fact is that people cannot afford the average car, which is $52,000 right now. It's insane. 
all these people that bought cyber trucks and spent all this money on EV cars that now regret it, okay? I have so many people that said I should never have done this. Then you get the people that are embarrassed. Don't use my name. Don't tell anybody that I did this, but I just, I, I just listened to the salesman and it was going to be free and it was going to save me money. But all it does is cost me time, which again, the only thing that we have that is valuable to all of us and each of us have it. And that's the amount of time in a day. Okay. The 24 hours in a day, guys, what's yours worth? Nothing. Okay. People need to have some joy. You need to have experiences out there. But the problem with it is that we're spending so much time in the treadmill right now, just trying to earn a living right now, just trying to get by and pay our bills. Nobody wants to talk about that. No one, you know, people want a bigger house. Yeah, sure. Why not? But they're not getting the ability to do it right now. And you're seeing the fact that it's getting worse and worse and worse right now. You know, each week it's getting, it's getting worse. The average rent are over $2,000 a month right now. You know, for people to rent an apartment, how, how awful is that? Okay, when you have wages that aren't, you know, they're not going up right now, guys. They're just sitting there. And then you have companies that are laying people off over and over and over again and hiring people for less money, okay? So the loan officers that we're making, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, what are they gonna do? You know, everybody's a success story. When the money's easy to make, they're the smartest people in the world. Well, now, show me how smart you are. Go out and make 400 grand a year, you know, doing something different. Ah, huh, I make it in real estate, yeah? Okay, well, good luck with that. Okay, good luck with that. Everything, car repairs. The problem with the car repair business is that you know, taking a car in right now, and there are people are telling me, hey, listen, don't want you to bring it in on this day, bring it on this day, because we know it's gonna take an extra two days to get the parts. Why is that, guys? Why is everything delayed right now? Oh, everybody's so busy. Yeah, no, it's not like that at all. It's just awful, guys. It's just awful. But you need to prepare yourself and understand this right now that there are forces around us that are telling us how great everything is, okay? Do your own homework, do your own due diligence right now when it comes to going out and, you know, researching the value of a piece of property. Look at that. Do you really need to go out and buy a piece of property right now? I am telling you this right now, that these banks right now have so much inventory that they haven't released yet they haven't told us about yet, and you haven't seen anything yet. Once they do that, all bets are off, guys. You're gonna see housing prices drop like you haven't seen in our lifetime. And you can believe, ah, oh, he's, the guy's an idiot. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about walking on the beach. You're going to see it get worse and worse and worse right now. So just get yourself ready for it right now. You know? So. EV cars, Tesla having trouble right now, you're going to have it, you know, just become a bigger, bigger problem right now. So, mark my words, guys. You're gonna see more EV car companies go out of business right now. You know, the uh, Tesla owners that bought the Cybertruck, there's all these videos now that these things are multi-ton tanks just sit, you know, paperweights, excuse me, sitting on the side of the road and they're having service problems and issues, you know, resetting the computer and things like that. And uh, again, are we jealous? Are we envious? Who cares right now? You know, um, you should be jealous of and envious of the people that don't have any debt right now, the people that have stored food, stored water and prepared for what's coming. So get ready, guys. Get ready. The real estate market is in serious trouble right now. You're seeing the inventory. Let's just talk about California. Sit for longer. Well, you're in crazy California, Dan. It's great here in North Carolina. No, it's not. It's not good in Florida. It's not good anywhere right now. Okay? It's hanging on, guys, right now. And the NAR settlement 
for, it's gonna, that's gonna revolutionize and change things. But I am telling you, my lawyer talking to him, wow, I've got all these inquiries where people want me to represent them with their next real estate transaction. Why is that? Okay, because they don't want to pay 3%. They want to save that money right now and pay a lawyer a few thousand dollars and do the transaction themselves. That's what's happening. But it's a lot more stats, guys. Let's, let's go through this stuff because it's good and uh, we'll go from there. Again, we talked about, you know, all the contracting firms that have gone out of business. How about the retailers that have gone out of business? Right now, store chains, okay? and stores that have gone out of business. When you have over 10,000 stores that are major retailers that you've heard of lose stores, that's a concern. Think about this one. Rite Aid is in bankruptcy right now and they blame it all on the uh, uh, their settlement with their prescription drugs and things like that. Okay, we'll leave it at that. They announced another 53 uh, store closures on Monday and then Friday night, announced another 13. I want to show this the same story. No, it's 13 more. So here, you know, again, you need to have the drug stores. You need to have these places open, but you're seeing more and more problems with these places, trying to have the ability to even stay open right now. So Rite Aid's going down, coming to a city near you. You know, um, we talked about the loan officers, you know, corporate bankruptcies. You know, 2023 was the highest corporate bankruptcies that we've seen since the Great Depression recession, okay? Well, this silent depression, you're going to see more and more companies that go out of business. When I talked about that Perch company yesterday, that's the beginning, guys. I am telling you, do yourself a favor. If you have a family member, friend, or yourself, and you're starting to get story time from anybody that you're working with in your life, you know, and especially a high-end retailer that you slap down an $18,000 credit card charge on. If you are out there and you're not questioning delivery dates and things like that, you're doing this to yourself. You're allowing yourself just to get clipped and taken advantage of. So it's gonna get worse, guys. It's gonna get much, much worse. One thing that is an absolute must right now, I am telling you, is that let's just say the power was shut off in your community for a few days. Do you live in a building where they have to pump the water upstairs? Oh, Dan, your pumps always work, everything's great. They have backup generators for things like that. Okay, why don't you protect yourself and make sure that you have water, food, for an extended period of time? Even if you live by yourself and it's you and the cat or you and the dog, make sure you have this extra um, security okay, to make yourself feel better. Don't tell people you do it, stack in private, just keep it together right now because what's happening is we're gonna have a day where the music's gonna stop. And when the music stops, you're, you need to be ready for this. You need to be ready for this because all these facts and figures are just more and more alarming and more and more concerning. I get emails every day, every day, from people that have banking problems. Now, I, I, I mean, we could literally like just do a live email channel where I just go live and start reading all this stuff. Hey, Dan, my credit line got cut at my bank. I went from $13,000 with a 20-year relationship down to $1,200, okay? Don't owe anybody any money. They don't want the exposure. They don't want you to have access to your funds, guys, right now. Check your credit card limits. Check your credit card bills. You know, everybody wants us to go um, wireless, you know, um, to go uh, paperless. Okay, you'll like this one. Uh, one of my cell phone companies had a deal. Listen, we're gonna charge you an additional fee because you have paper statements. Okay, so they had a mandatory thing where everybody had to go uh, uh, wire uh, uh, without paper statements. And I'm like, okay, then refund the difference. What are you talking about? Well, look at the fee you charged me. Here's the email. Oh, um, I don't know if we can do that or not. Yeah, you're gonna do it, okay? So again, print the bill, send it out. Look at your invoices. Look at, look at what they're charging you right now. 
I'm telling you guys, this is not normal right now, but you're being told everything's great. Stock market's at an all-time high. You know, you're going to sit there and you're going to see things continue to melt up. And that's such a great way of putting it, that everything is fake, everything is good right now, and it's not, it's not, okay? You know how difficult it is to get things done. You know how difficult it is to get quality help, people to answer ads, people don't wanna work, people think that they're going to get a free lunch from everybody, okay? No, 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 no. Take care of yourself, get out of debt right now, guys. That's the key. That is the absolute key to your happiness right now, okay? It really is. Go sailing right now. Lovely morning. So, you know, the bank closures. Let's talk about that. Have you noticed that more and more branches are closing right now? Well, they don't want to service you, they don't want you to come in. I talked to that bank teller that sent me that story about when you should go into the bank and how often you should go in there. You should go in there. I don't, again, it doesn't matter if you have 1500 bucks in your bank. Hi, this is what I do, this is how I get paid. Just wanna know who the manager is, who I can talk to if I ever need anything, and they're gonna introduce you to people. And if they have any common sense, they'll walk you through customer service and things like that. Take advantage of that, guys, and do yourself a favor and uh, do that, you know? You know, Rite Aid talked about the contracting firms, you know, the cyber truck problem, you know, is one thing. Bankruptcies, you're going to see more, and more bankruptcies right now, guys. I am telling you this right now. You're going to see companies that you never dreamed go out of business, go out of business right now. It's just going to happen. Just a beautiful morning. They're already bringing out their boats and stuff like this. But these are the boat slips that they're raising the price, you know, and doubling the price on. Do you think everybody that's got one of these is rich? Everybody's like, ah, I don't care. Whatever. Charge me four times, five times. I don't care. No, this is going to destroy people. People are on a fixed income. But we're supposed to believe. You're supposed to walk down the street and act like everything is okay. And it's not. You know, there is a, a woman that follows me and I follow her back, Patera. Um, Appalachian Homestead. She is absolutely brilliant at preparing, okay, for what's coming. And as far as food prep and farm prep and um, just a brilliant businesswoman, okay? So hi to Patera, you know, love watching her stuff. But, you know, as a city boy, okay, watching her stuff, it all makes sense, guys. You know, storing food, getting ready, everything. How to run the garden. You know, it's funny. I, I make jokes about my garden. Everybody's like, oh my God, what are you growing now? Okay? I love that stuff. I love being able to store vegetables, canned vegetables, and learn how to do all that stuff. Well, well, why would you waste your time with that? So I can eat, guys, if something happens. If you don't have food storage. Now, I have food storage. I've got food put in places so that if something happens and there is a problem, that's beyond something that uh, could be fixed with a phone call. Uh, I'm not worried about it, okay? You have to protect yourself and protect your family. You have to have cash out of the bank right now and make sure that you have enough. Now, what do people ask me? If you're on a fixed income, how about 10% of your income? Socked away. Large bills, small bills, everything. Have gold and silver. You know, uh, you know how much I love that. So now's a good time to talk about Patriot Gold too. So let's talk about our sponsor. For the last four or five months, all we've seen is gold shoot up in price. The best place to call is Patriot Gold Group. Number one rated because of their customer service, their pricing, and overall care of the customer. Call them today, 888-330-1431, and let them know 
that I allegedly sent you and find out if an IRA or 401k that's backed by physical metals is right for you. Plus, they sell all types of metals, gold, silver, everything. Contact them today. Once again, when you see gold shooting up well above $2,400 an ounce and the experts say it's only going higher from here, you don't want to miss out on that. Call them today, 888-330-1431. If you don't want to call them, fill the form out below, click on it. Most, you know, greatest customer service, check it out today. Franklin's got it made. <laughs> In closing, I am reminded of things all the time about what a dangerous world we live in. And California is getting worse and worse and worse. And the clown show of politicians, and I don't care what side you're on, I don't. This um, channel was started for the small business person and we're still set up for the small business person. You need to understand that you need to bring money in and sell things for here and have your expenses be here. If you do that, then you will make a profit and you will be able to go out and sell more and buy more inventory and make a living doing this. But please understand this. Do what you can do to protect your family. Do what you can do to educate yourself. Stay right with God. Stay right in your life right now and be a good person. Be a helpful soul. Be kind to everybody around you right now. And you can sit there and go, oh, you know, you're just so negative and all you do is talk about the negative. Guys, I, I you know, you know, I, I'm available. You guys can hire me as a consultant for your business. You can hire me to market your company. There's a lot of things you can do. We have a social media company that we're doing and there's a lot of things that we're doing moving forward, but again, the idea with this is that it's all based on how these companies are marketing themselves and how they're cutting back on their expenses right now. You have to live a very, very frugal life right now. You don't, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can be as rich as you want and piss away your money any way you want. But right now, understand this, that there's gonna be problems coming, okay? And this is a silent depression right now. Okay. Now it's difficult to do this walking through Newport Beach, California and have people sit there and say, ah, you know, walking around in the boats. It's, you know, really easy for you to say this. No. Okay. Get yourself ready guys. Okay. Don't forget to the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Reach out anytime. Hello at I allegedly.com and uh, onward and upward guys. I'll see you guys very soon.